Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shobhus Biology. In this video, we are going to uh, review and test the home testing kit for COVID-19. So, right now, uh, different test kits are already launched and now you can simply test whether you are COVID positive or not at your home with the help of these test kits. The, the values uh, and the prices will range from uh, some somewhere at, uh, near about 200 to 250 rupees uh, per test. So this is one particular test strip. So I am going to show you what is inside. I recently got the box and I am going to show you what is inside of that. And I am also going to show you how to test it yourself. And obviously you need to test it yourself. So follow the steps and I will also show you the results. So here we have everything that is needed for one sample testing. We have this append off. We have the cap. We have this append off holding strand. We have this uh, buffer. We have this test kit and we have a swab. And remember when you are doing the test, do not touch the swab end, the head of the swab with your hand. Okay. And if it's possible, uh, then put it away from your hand and try to wear gloves if it's possible. Okay. So I've opened up uh, the kit. Let me take it out. Let's throw this out. This is okay. This is what we need. This is the test kit. Okay. This is the kit. As you can clearly see, let me, op uh, okay. This is the test kit. This is where you need to put the drop after you mix it with the sample, okay? And now I'll show you uh, one more thing uh, to produce this uh, specimen collection tube. And to produce the specimen collection tube, what you need to do, you just simply need to take this extraction solution and need to put 12 to 14 drops of this solution into this append off. And that's what all you need to do before you start with the nasal swab. So make sure that this extraction tube is ready and properly placed in this vial, in this tube holder. So once it's done, then what will you do? You need to simply add how much? 12 to 14 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've already put 12 drops in here. It's done. Close it up. So it's done. You can clearly see this is how much uh, the solution you're going to get. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think now you can clearly see. Okay. This much of solution is necessary at least. Otherwise it will not run properly. So now put it in the proper place in this holder. And now what you uh, want to do, you need to open up this swab and collect the sample, collect the specimen. So this is the moment. Okay. You need to be really careful at this particular moment because this is what you need to have a little bit of practice. So remember, this is the swab. You can clearly see the swab. Okay. You can see this is the, the head of the swab, this one. This is the tail of the swab. So you will hold it in the tail region of the swab. And this is the head of the swab. This head will go inside of your uh, nasopharyngeal cavity. So how to open it up? You can see there is a tag called open. Simply you need to scrap it off. Like this. Okay. Like this. And it will, you can clearly see, it will slowly open up like this and after you open it up slowly pull slowly pull this swab out see this is the swab this is how it looks like see this is the head and these are the tail region of the swab okay it's done so what we are going to do now we are going to show you how to insert it inside your uh, nasal nasopharyngeal cavity See, this is how you should not take your no uh, head like this. You need to put the head tilted like this. Okay. Remember, this is very important. Keep your head tilted like this, this much of angle. Okay. And it will go some, it will go like this slowly, just like the angle with your nose. You can see my nose tilted at an angle, right? This is how I need to do. I need, uh, uh, let me open up my uh, glasses. You can see that this nose is now at an angle, the same angle this will go. The same angle, this will go inside. Okay? Do not take it like this. Or straight like this. This angle with the nose. Okay? Let me put it inside. It may feel little weird while you do that yourself. But the thing is, you need to go to the back end wall of your nos uh, nosopharynx. Otherwise, you will not get enough antigen to be detected. Particularly in the early days of your symptom of on onset of symptoms. When I am putting it inside, you can use it for any of the nose. And make sure that you collect the specimen properly. So you need to rotate this brush. So let, let me show you again. 
Now rotate it like this. Okay, it's done. It's extremely difficult to talk while doing this. So I collected, I think, enough. And this is a specimen now. And put it inside the specimen like this, you can see. And then mix it properly. Mix it properly like this. See? Mix it properly. Near about 7-8 times. Mix it like this. Rotate it like this. Okay? In that way you can mix it properly and once the mixing is done, you need to discard this swab. Remember, you need to discard this swab immediately. You need to discard it immediately because it is a health hazard. Okay? So how to discard this swab? Simply take that same paper plastic and put the head side inside like this. Done. Okay? And bend it like this and throw it out. Okay? And just do not throw it out in the road any other place, but throw it out. You can flush it down the toilet. It's done. And now what we will do is we'll take this because it's done already. And here is the cap. Make sure should not touch the tip of the cap. Place it inside like this. And it's better that throughout this process, if you use gloved fingers. So put the cap tightly like this. Once the cap set, just like this, it's ready. Now we'll put it into the kit and we are going to test the presence of antigen okay guys so it's see the this is the tube where our nozzle specimen is already mixed with uh, the extraction solution and now we are going to just put a drop we are just going to put this drop on this point see this is the point where we need to put it you need to squeeze it a little bit see drop is applied apply one or two drops that's it that's it that's what you need one or two drop, two drops that's it and then wait for some time okay so while it starts giving us data let us talk about the different lines that we may okay so as per this report you need to know one thing that either you get one line in the c c means control that is a valid it's a negative result only one line in the c you can get two lines one in c another one is in t if you get two lines, one in C, another one is in T, that means you are tested positive, okay, because you get bands in both. But if you get no bands either in C or T, that means the test result is not positive. I mean, this is not valid at all because there is no band in control. If you don't get any band in control and a band in T, that also means that the result is invalid. So, we will only take results when we get one band in C or two bands, one in C and the one in T. Okay friends, so it's been almost uh, 10 minutes and let's see what happened here. You can clearly see that if I zoomed in, if I make it a little dark, you can clearly see the C and T, two different regions. This is C and this is T. So, a C band is clearly visible. You can see the dark red one. You can also see a very faint red uh, area throughout. This is common, this is the background noise, this may be present, it's not a problem. But apart from this, this there is a dark band in the C region, in the control. But in the T, you can see there is no band, no distinct band observed. That means I am negative for SARS-CoV-2, I am negative for the antigen of SARS-CoV-2. That means I don't have active or ongoing COVID-19 disease. If I were positive, you are going to see another band here similar just like see there is a band in this T region that's how simple it is you uh, generally this result although they say that you need to wait for 20 minutes but actually the result is normally given within 3 to 5 minutes if it's positive or negative generally you'll get it within 3 to 5 minutes but still uh, wait for 20 minutes as per their information in the brochure and then once everything is done throw it out and remember to dispose both this one also inside the packet that you got okay and tie it up and throw it in a proper manner because these are biohazards so handle it with, with hygiene so that was it that was a really easy is a, is a cakewalk there are almost 56 to 60 brands of test kits are available which uh, were provided as a green signal by icmr so if you buy any of the test kit i will obviously recommend you to buy 
uh, any of these which are approved by ICMR and not. remember to store it in the refrigerator for better shelf life and better activity. So that's all about the self test kit for COVID-19 and this is how you need to test yourself at home. This is how you can test yourself at home for COVID-19 with only 250 rupees per test kit. Okay, and if you buy in bulk, the price will be even less. I'll be providing you the link uh, to check all the uh, ICMR approved test kit in India which are available right now. You can get it, you can test yourself. And if you think yourself feeling like this because early test and detection will be better and obviously the price is cost effective. That's all about it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more and more interesting videos like this and let us know which different topics you want to see the videos in. So that's all about it. Thank you. Bye.